We're live. Hello, everybody. It's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, onboard icon of the seas. Thank you for joining me here today. And we're here to talk Royal Caribbean as we are every Monday right here on YouTube, starting with the most important question. How many days until your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Keep your countdown in chat. Let us count down together. I am here on deck 15, I'm pretty sure, uh, right in front of the Aquadome Marketplace, one of my favorite new places here on Icon of the Seas. And I'm not just saying it because there's not a lot of music in the background to get me a DMCA strike. Uh, it's a great spot. Really enjoy eating here. And uh, I thought it's actually a beautiful evening out, not too busy out here. So I thought, what better place than here to come talk Royal Caribbean with each and every one of you. We are having a great time here on the inaugural sailing of Icon of the Seas. It is day three. It's a sea day, our first port day coming up tomorrow in St. Kitts. And I am concerned that either the internet is not working or my chat is not working because everything has stopped. So I am not sure if the internet is just not working, but actually I see the backup chat is working. Uh, so maybe it's just my, oh, there we go. I think I got it. No, it's all right. It's a strange issue. I don't know why the, I think it's starting to, it's not you guys. It's not even me. It's the, it's the intermediary thing here, but welcome guys. Glad to have you all here with some super chats before the broadcast began. Um, Matt's printer. Thank you for the super chat. I need a table before going on Fox business again. Thank you very much. Tony Diaz, Chris Abram. Thank you for the super chat. Spent hundred dollars, the casino or hundred dollars on a casita. Well, my wife would tell, definitely tell you the casita. I feel like the casita is the better value, but you could double or triple your money in the casino. But you'll probably get more use out of it in the long run from the casita. Brady Rotman, thank you for the super chat. We're on Icon having a time of our lives. Quick question, where would be the best place to spot you for a quick picture? We'd love to meet you. Uh, I'm usually in the pub in the evenings, but I kind of go all over. I don't have a set schedule. Um, I obviously would love to take a photo with you. I just don't have a schedule out here. Um, if you want to come up here, I'll be done at eight at uh, nine thirty our time. We're on a we're an hour and a half of Eastern. Um, I'll be happy to take a photo with you right when I'm done. Uh, Tommy Tony Deshane, <clears throat> thank you for the super chat. Hi Matt, twelve days till Icon. Thanks for all you your insight on cruising. Two questions: My daughter and I are going together. She's two months two months short of eighteen. How strict are they on the hideaway in the comedy club? I mean, they they won't check IDs in the hideaway. Um, they usually don't do that. It's really the uh, the the comedy club. I'm not sure how much they check IDs because they scan your your C pass to get in there, so that might be an issue. But the hideaway, they're not. They don't check IDs. So you'll be fine over there. Uh, Michelle Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Uh, hang on a second, Michelle. I just got to catch up on one. All right, all right, I'm caught up now. Uh, Michelle Taylor, thank you for the super chat. 55 days till Mariner of the Seas. Nice. Former genius. Thank you for the super chat. You mentioned you didn't like the DJ music at Hideaway Beach. Is it too loud to have a conversation with someone in the pool or in the dry bar? What about the live music at the sports bar? In the sports bar, it's not an issue at all. It's not too loud that you can't have a conversation. It might be more of an elevated conversation, but I think you'll be able to you'll be able to talk. It's um the real the the the, the, the higher volume music really starts hitting later in the afternoon. And ask me this question again next week because I'm going back there and spending the whole day at Hideaway Beach uh, this weekend on Friday. So I'll have a better a better sense of it at that time. Um, Tony DeShane, thank you for two Super Chats. I Thank you very much, my friend. David Crowley, thank you for the Super Chat. Hi, Matt. We're on Freedom in July. Can we order a pizza to go from Giovanni's? Yes. You can order one from Giovanni's uh, Wine Bar. You can order pizzas from there to go. No problem at all. Uh, thanks, Dave and Ann Crawley. Uh, please, looking forward to the cruise with you in December on Voyager. Nice. Looking forward to cruising with you as well. William Mom, thank you for the super chat, my friend. Appreciate you. 11 Days Navigator, can't wait. Hope you're having the time of your life on the inaugural sailing on Icon. Having a great time, my friend. It's a brand new ship. Love it. It's been, I think, Welcome did a great, great job with it. Um, I was actually just uh, celebrating uh, Warren at Sea's birthday. I drank his champagne and then got out of there. So it was, it's, been a, it's been a great cruise. Uh, let's see here. Next super chat should be from Jason Hicks, if I can find it. Jason, I'm looking. No, I must have missed it. Some of the messages at the very beginning got messed up. All right, so Jason's message. Jason, thank you for the super chat. Could you please surprise our boys, Logan and Isaiah, and tell them we're going to Odyssey of the Seas in April. It's only five days of counting. Logan and Isaiah, you guys are going on Odyssey of the Seas. Or your parents are going and grandma's coming to watch you. But you're probably going with your parents. That's awesome. Enjoy Odyssey. I love that ship. 
Cplex. You guys are going to love that place. It's fantastic. Uh, Jessica Devoto, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Uh, Jessica's message was, I don't know why my super, the mess, the, the chat interface is not working today, guys. I apologize. Um, could you, oh no, we did that one. When will Royal Green make its 2026 itinerary is able to view and book? It depends on what you're talking about primarily next year. So later this year, November, December, and then again in the spring of 2025 is essentially when you can expect that, Jessica. And by the way, Jessica, thank you for being a Royal Green Blog Club member. I appreciate you. Brian Glennon. Brian, thank you for the super chat. Uh, where is your message here? 199 days to Liberty of the Seas for Brian. Fantastic, Brian. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, Teresa, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Becky. For... Oh, I know. I actually got it this time. I remember three minutes before broadcast. Uh, Brian, thank you for the super chat. Teresa, thank you for the super chat. Hello from the Schooner Bar, and hi to Tony, who's not here. I forgot Paper Tony. He's in my cabin. Can you believe that? Should I go get it? <laughs> I guess I can trust you not to steal my towels. He should be, when you walk in the room, uh -huh. um, he should be on the counter by the first TV over there. So you walk in on your left, the TV. Okay. He should be right on that counter over there. Okay. You'll see it. I'll you. It's opposite the bed, basically. Okay. Yeah. Or back? Uh, back. Yeah, yeah, I'm holding her water hostage until she brings back all the stuff that was in my cabin before I left. Because I don't trust her. Uh, Teresa, thank you for the super chat. And a big shout out to the Schooner Bar down on deck six. Uh, I, I need to spend some time down there. Not just because Teresa's there, but because it's an awesome, awesome place. Um, Juan, how is the Playmakers absolute zero traffic situation? It's a problem. I don't think they quite they kind of thought that whole thing out. But it's like a... It's like a five minute problem dude if you just take your time like there are certain things certain venues that you're best off just sitting back having a drink of water letting everybody else go and five minutes later it's fine i think it's more of an annoyance with people in playmakers like if you're there and you're having a meal watching tv and all of a sudden there is a gang of people coming from the uh, horde of people really coming from the other venue that can be annoying um i hope they fix that with star or some other ship but i think in the grand scheme of things it's pretty minor gripe Veronica, how can I figure out if my ship goes off local time or ship time? It depends. Um, you really won't know until you get on board the ship. It's up to the captain. As an example, on this cruise, we moved up ahead an hour last night. But it really does depend. Uh, what is my opinion of Navigator of the Seas? I love Navigator of the Seas. Smokey Bandit, I feel like I'm the only one not currently bucked on Icon. Good news, Tony Diaz is also not bucked on there. So at least two of you. Ruth Ann from MEI Travel is here. Hello, Ruth Ann. Welcome. Uh, JC, love it. <laughs> nice, dude. Um, does Icon of the Seas have laser tag? They do. Um, it was, it was, it was, a vet, it was open earlier today. They actually broke a, they blew a fuse from what I understand, but it was working after that. So yes, they do have laser tag on board Icon in, um, let's say Studio B. It's not Studio B. It's in, uh, the ice skating rink over there. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Ashley from MMI Travel is here. Ashley, long time, no speak or no hangout at Central Park. Hope you're doing well, Ashley. Hope all is well with you. Keith B, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you, Keith B. I don't see him. Oh, I found out your message here. Uh, with the unlimited dining pack, should I go to multiple a la carte restaurants on the same day or is it one a la carte per day? You go to multiple per day, but not the same restaurant. So you can go to Izumi Sushi, Playmakers, Pier 7, all in the same day. You can't go to the same restaurant twice in one day, if that makes sense. Next day, it's back on again. Uh, let's see here. Carrie, she's going to go run up a tab of my C-Pass. She's going to steal my towels. Um, I know she's been, like, eyeing some of my – she's like, oh, that, that's nice. I need one of those. I don't really need that, but I probably can get some good money on eBay, so you know that. Can't trust Becky. Carlos Escolar with a woo, holy moly super chat, my dude. Dude, that's real money, you know. Thank you. Is there a height requirement for the water slides? There are. Are the pools warm or still too cold to enjoy? They've been plenty warm. A lot of people have been in them. They've been busy. I was in the swim and tonic yesterday. I had no problems at all. It was great in there. Can we change my time dining to traditional dining? Yes. I need to talk to your travel agent. Um, or if you book the parole me directly, ask to make the change over there. But you can definitely do that. No problem at all. If it's not available, maybe you'll call up your travel and be like, hey, I want to change. They'll say, I'm sorry, 
it's not available, ask to put on the wait list that usually comes through. Carlos, my dude, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy moly, Carlos, you are amazing. Uh, Mark Castell's Empire Star Club is outstanding, dude. I had a great meal last night, by the way. Shout out to Doug from Texas, who is uh, at the table next to me. That It's a really good restaurant. We're going to have a full review of it at realrainblog.com coming up here in the next day or two. Uh, where is Messi? You know, Messi's sitting right here. He doesn't want to be on camera, but uh, he's very shy, but he's having a great time. What's that? Oh, yeah, I, I love Roller Caribbean Blog, too. Yeah, it's your favorite website? That means a lot. How are you? <laughs> Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> Pilot Jeff, thank you for the super chat. Tell us about the Empire Supper Club details. So it's an eight-course meal. You get a cocktail with, paired with everything on there. It is so good. Um, I was really blown away by it. I never loved um, Empire, um, Chef's Table. I didn't hate it. didn't love it. It was just whatever. It's, um, it's You get your own table. You get cocktails instead of wine, which I absolutely prefer. The music is phenomenal. Um, it, was, it was worth every penny, I got to say. I know it's $200 a person. Not cheap. But for like a special celebration... For a once-in-a-lifetime, Tony Diaz is actually booked on a cruise with me kind of celebration. It might be worthwhile. Heck, if Smokey Bandit books a cruise, that is worth um, celebrating for it. So um, I really, th I was really impressed by it. Like I said, we'll have a full review of it a little later on. Mr. Mike Wolf, so jealous. Looks like this is a beautiful ship. They've done a phenomenal job with the ship. Um, it's beautiful. It's pretty. I love the colors. Some people have said that they don't like the colors, think it's too much. I mean, I think it looks great. I don't think it's over the top. It's not It's not carnival 90s purple carpet colors. It is vibrant. It is Caribbean. It is evoking the, I think, the style that they want with this, and I, and I absolutely love it. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. 123 days, Symphony of the Seas with my mother. This is our second cruise, and I'm hooked. Is there anything you recommend doing on the ship? You got to see um, Symphony is Greece, the Broadway mute. No, wait. No, Symphony is uh, the other one. Um, Hairspray, the Broadway musical. Definitely see that. That is a must-do on board that ship. See all the shows in the Aqua Theater, in the Main Theater, and Studio B. They're all so, so good. Make sure you see them. And they're included. No additional cost. Uh, let's see here. So Agile says you can't wear swimsuits with sleeves on the slides? All right, Matt's not doing the slides because I wear a rash guard, and I don't want to scare the children with what's hiding under here, all right? So just if that's the case... I guess I can do the water slides some other. I'll rent out the ship to myself, and I'll go do the water slides privately. Uh, let's see here. Jeff and Eileen just got off Navigator of the Seas. Mark, the cruise director, gave Matt and the Royal Green Blog a shout-out during the top-tier event. How awesome is that? We love Bing Bong Mark. He is fantastic. Favorite cruise director out there. Kyler, thank you for the super chat. Going on Icon, how are the wait times at places? I mean, really and truly, I'm, I'm not being uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm being as honest as I can here. They're, the crowds are nearly non-existent on this ship. Ah, Tony's here. We love you, Tony. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. And they can do... Thank you. Thank you. I'm counting the towels when I get back. You know what? <laughs> I just can't resist a washcloth, you know? Yeah. By the way, that's uh, Becky Menken from MEI Travel. Hi. Um, a couple agents already in the chat, so... Um, so the, the wait times of places, honestly, I mean, the, the two busiest places I have found is the hideaway, which is the adult-only pool, and swim and tonic. But other than that, um, obviously, the some venues get busy. Like, um, we were at the um, Dueling Pianos last night, and Dueling Pianos was fantastic. But if you're not there 30 minutes beforehand, you're not getting a seat. Um, that's okay. I mean, that, that just plan ahead. You'll be fine. That being said, um, otherwise, crowds have been really, really good. So um, not a problem at all. Uh, you should have done live from 10 forward again, dude, Mike, I got so much flack last week because people couldn't see my face because of the lighting in there. So not this time. Uh, next question. All right, Tony, you're getting too heavy. Putting you down for a minute. Um, uh, Terry wants to know, am I planning on going the inaugural in Utopia? Yep. Uh, next question is from AT4 Engineer. We're in Nassau early. 1 to 8 p.m. Seems like odd timing. Yes, it is. Any series of recommendations so far? Offerings of the planner seem meh. Resortforaday.com is what I recommend. Um, I know that as long as you can stay there past like 5, 
that's where I would look at first. Otherwise, maybe just stay on board the ship. Hate to say it, but. Uh, our base camp and Pier 7, including the Ultimate Dining Package. Pier 7, yes. Base camp, no. Uh, Mr. Airplane, what should I try while on the Odyssey of the Seas with my two teenagers? Uh, obviously, the um, North Star is fantastic. Go to the Cplex. I mean, there's so many cool things you can do in the Cplex down there. I really love that quite a bit. Um, there's, I remember I was there. My, my youngest daughter's not a teenager. She's only, at the time, she was like seven. We played badminton because why not? And that was fun. They have a lot of activity. So I'd really recommend the Cplex for sure. Uh, next question. Superstarian, with the infinite balconies, can you partially lower the windows or is it all up and down? You can partially. On mine, I have full control. I can bring down an inch. I can bring down half, three quarters, full. So, uh, so yeah, no worries there. Uh, Shane, it won't let you send a super chat because you're Canadian. Man. Anyway, I hope to meet you after Big Fan. Come on by, buddy. Come on by. Um, Ashley wore sleeves on the slides, just no zippers. All right, I got no zippers. I mean, I got one, but I'm not talking about that. Uh, but I'm going to say that the uh, my, my rash guard is good. So that's – now I'm back on the water slides. All right, fantastic. Am I in a private area in the Aquadome? No, I am in the – Basically, where the Aquadome, you can see that that's the end. That's where it begins. That's Aquadome Market. This is Chill Island. I just have there's no one eating. This is the seating area for Chill for Aquadome Market. And believe it or not, no one's eating dinner at eight forty seven out here. So um, that's kind of why I picked it. Also, there's no music or not much music you can hear that the camera will pick up. Doorstopper, thank you for the super chat. Do you recommend World Cruise? I saw a video and that ship will get boring. Um, it, I don't think it's gonna get boring. I mean, you're going to some amazing places. Obviously, a lot of time away. I think the bigger question is more beyond cost. It's simply, do you have the time for it? I mean, it's an incredible opportunity, but it requires you to have a deep, I think, love of not only cruising, but also sea days. And if you're okay with all that, then I think it's totally fine. Um, let's see here. Next question. Uh, let's see here. Dave O in the house. Hey, Dave. Glad to hear that the audio and video is fantastic. Jeff Luddick says the great connection tonight. Awesome. Uh, Mercy, we're in Chill Island right now, right outside the Aquadome. Um, Virginia, are there any solo traveler staterooms on the ship? There are not. Real Company doesn't have any solo rooms on Icon. Um, Jessica Devoto, thank you again for the super chat. Any hidden gems must use on Harmony in November? Um, yes. There are many that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, definitely see Grease, the Broadway musical. Fantastic. Like I said, I always see the, the, the shows in the, in the uh, Oasis class ships are always really, really good. Um, when it comes to... Um, um, I'm trying to think some other things you could... I feel like I'm forgetting something obvious besides the shows. I love the shows on Harmony. Izumi Hibachi, do that. That's really good as well. Uh, Nicholas, thank you for the Super Chat. 66 days till trans Pacific on Quantum. What time do we need to disembark the ship once we arrive in Oahu? Um, you're going to get kicked out of your room by 8 o'clock at the latest anyway. So you're pretty much gone somewhere before then, quite frankly. Um, you could certainly stay a little bit later beyond that, like about 9. After about 9 o'clock, start paging your, your name on there. You know what I mean? So, And there's nothing to do, quite frankly. Um, Dave says I missed some super chats. And I apologize. The chat has been... No bueno today. Um, I did miss it. Uh, Dave, I'm going to go back into the chat here. So Dave E., thank you for the super chat. Was wondering about the quick counter service cost venues. Any discounts for unlimited dining packages? No. Um, the best description is it's it's the unlimited dining package, not the unlimited snacking package. So places like Base Camp, Trellis Bar, and uh, Izumi Sushi Window are not included with the ultimate dining package. But Pier 7 is because you actually sit down and eat there, if that makes sense. Probably don't like that answer, but it's the best answer I got. Brian Kelly, thank you for the super chat. Great meeting you the other night. Icon is amazing. Five days till our second leg on the icon. Gotta go home. Happy for you, but not outwardly. <laughs> uh, Raymond, I missed your message here, Raymond. I'm gonna catch up. Oh, there it is. Raymond, have you ever done the cupcake decorating class on Raw? And if you did, how was it? We did it once when one of my daughters was really young. It's okay. Um, 
I mean, there are worse things you can spend your money on a cruise. It wasn't my cup of tea, but obviously it wasn't for me. It was really for my daughter. She liked it, I think, at the time. So why not? Diamond Dave, thank you for the super chat. Miller Time, thank you for the super chat. If you run into any other fellow YouTubers, oh, heck yeah, there's a lot of them on here. And I apologize that many of them, I don't know their names, but Travel Spree, JJ Cruz, Hard Travel, Becky Menken, uh, Paper Tony Diaz. Um, I'm, uh, uh, there's many others that I am forgetting that they're going to kill me for, so I'm sorry. But yes, I've, met, I've run to many, many. Um, Francisione, thank you for the super chat. How was the Empire Supper Club? We sail in May. Need the details. It was really impressive. And I talked about it a little earlier in the broadcast, but uh, Empire has been, I'm really impressed by it. I know it's $200 a person, but man, do they deliver on that money. I really believe that. Um, I did it twice now, and uh, it was it was chef's kiss for sure. Josh Perry, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Love the Icon videos. Final countdown to my birthcation cruise aboard Anthem. 24 more days. Love your content. Number one fan. You hear that, Smokey Bandit? Number one fan right here, not you. Sorry. Josh, thank you for the super chat. Not you, Josh. Other jo <laughs> There are many Joshes. Uh, <laughs> Keith B, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I don't see your message here, but thank you, Keith, for the super chat. Um, Pilot Jeff, I answered your question. Mike, I think we did yours. Jessica, I know we did yours. Uh, Kyler... Going on, I can have the wait times of places. Honestly, crowds have been very manageable, easy to. I have not had any issues at all. Um, I I think now, granted, we're not like super maxed out with every single bed out here, but this is a really good indication. Um, even on embarkation day, embarkation on every real from cruise ship is a zoo on the promenade or the centrum, right? Here, it really didn't feel like that at all. They've really got the, the flow down quite a bit. Chrome KM, thank you for the super chat. Uh, 256 days. We have not seen a Central Park standard balcony yet. Are you going to do a full stateroom tour? Actually, um, Angie, who's on board with me, is staying in one of those rooms. And so she has a full tour that we're going to post, I think, tomorrow on Real Green Blog. So either tomorrow or the next day, we'll have it on there. Michelle Cunningham from MEI Travel. Thank you for the super chat. Michelle, I don't see your message here. It probably says something like, Matt, you're the best. Uh, you need to come out west. <laughs> And go on a cruise until Alaska. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I don't, I don't see a message here, but Michelle, thank you for your generosity. I appreciate you. And Marie Myers, thank you for the super chat. 80 days till Mariner of the Seas. Uh, simply Nessa, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for your generosity. Appreciate you. Lauren Lisco, thank you for the super chat. 47 days till Odyssey. But I have serious icon envy. You and this guy. Hope you're having a blast. Does Hideaway Beach have any quiet areas? I mean, not really. The best you're going to get is if you go all the way to the end of the beach by the swings or if you get one of the um, hide-out cabanas that has a little pool there. That's as close as you're going to get to true quiet. I mean, I don't want to oversell the noise. It's not like it's like you're out in the beach and it's like a red party by any means. But there's definitely music there. If you're looking for Chill Island, right, where is... Chill out on the beach, not chill out over here. You know, where it's really quiet, I'm, you're not going to find that. They, they they pipe in the music elsewhere. Um, so it really depends, I guess, on how quiet you're, you're looking for. If your definition of quiet is like is like the solarium on, um, on you know, on, on, on another roller coming cruise ship, I don't know that it really me matches that. But it's not as bad as, obviously, as being in the pool, certainly. Uh, let's see here. Got that one. Jared Brody. Thank you for the super chat. Is Roatan safe? If so, best thing to do there. There is risk with anywhere you go. I don't ever want to promise you that, oh, you can do whatever you want. You'll have any problems. There's always risk, but I think it's in the grand scheme of Caribbean ports. It's not, uh, a, a place that I necessarily, um, you know, worry about per se. Um, but the best thing to do there is definitely, definitely little French key. Um, a number of years ago, we did a group excursion to Mayan Princess, which is kind of an all-inclusive resort um, that you can book to Royal Caribbean. That wasn't bad either. Man, there's a smell of uh, white wine in the air tonight. Uh, Yoink, thank you for the super chat. I missed, now I missed your question. There it is, Yoink. Going forward, your Baja Mar review in Nassau. Yeah, I'm actually not going to Nassau on this cruise, but I would love to go there. I mean, I went, I, we stayed at the Baja Mar um, 
after yeah after one of our adventure of the seas cruises when cruising restarted it was a beautiful resort um i don't have any if your concern is like that it's not as good as it looks it's as good as it looks it's not cheap that's basically the gist of it but i'm looking to do the day pass place uh andy hall thank you for the super chat what is it good about taking a five-day cruise it's two days more than a three-day cruise um that's pretty much the benefits cheaper than a seven-day cruise probably um and honestly when you're doing a five-day cruise it's that not quite a week but more than a short weekend cruise so that's really what it's about i think we will book a five-day cruise andrew taverner thank you for the super chat andrew uh i don't see a message from you because oh i found it hi matt is there any snorkeling coco key there is you're not gonna find great snorkeling but there is snorkeling available you can rent royal Caribbean's gear take your own out and go check it out but there is stuff to see underwater um it's just not like in the grand scheme of caribbean snorkeling it's not anywhere at the best um ideally coco key will be your first stop and you can like test out your equipment and kind of get your bearings and then when you go to like Cozumel or Roatan or Belize that has amazing snorkeling, you'll be like ready to go. Camille B, thank you for the super chat. We are loving the icon coverage. Thank you. After six visits to Coco Key, we're leaving, we're visiting Labadee in 181 days of any must-sees. I mean, I like just chilling out, you know, whether it's Barefoot Beach or Nelly's Beach, those are my two go-to places every single time. Um, that's about it. I don't think you need to go more much more than that. Uh, Doorstopper, thank you again for the super chat. I'm retired, so I'd love to do, I think, the World Cruise. Uh, last cruise, NCL Prima, I won Sexy Legs Contest. Hello. I go on cruises monthly on average, just nervous about a World Cruise. I think based on what you're talking about, you'd be great friends with Don Goldstein and also uh, enjoy a World Cruise. So I think that that would be a, I think it'd be a fine choice for you. If you cruise that often, a World Cruise will be, a, will be not an issue in terms of the amount of time you spend on there. And Whipple, thank you for the super chat. 96 days till Mariner. How long will Icon be in Miami and where will it go next? Icon's in Miami until at least mid-2026. That's as long as we know Royal Caribbean's deployment for. Um, so beyond that, I got nothing. Uh, William Ryman, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Uh, th love the info. You are the best. Thank you, William. Appreciate you. Bad the Fox, thank you for the super chat. Icon in 24 days. Question is, I purchased the deluxe beverage package as well as the cafe select card. Should I cancel the Cafe Select card? But yeah, you don't need it. There's nothing the Cafe Select card gets you unless you're traveling with somebody else, like a spouse or kids, and you want them to have coffee. But for you, you're, you're, it'd be redundant. Uh, Mike Kaluzian, thank you for the super chat. Going on Wonder, what are your top tips for St. Martin? I like doing potpourri. I like going out to like Marigo and go there in the morning, spend some time walking around. It's good shopping when you get a little hot take a taxi over to Grand Case Beach or Orient Bay um, and go hang out over there at the beach and then either come back to the ship afterwards or maybe go to downtown Phillipsburg and do some more shopping, walking around kind of thing. Um, we, guys, thank you so much for your generosity. Holy smokes. RFA 727, thank you for the super chat. If you book a non-refundable fare and the price goes down later, you still cancel the rebook without penalty. As long as you perform final payment date and you're a resident of the United States or Canada or some other country that allows that, then yes. So if you're a UK resident, no. But if you're an American, then as long as you perform final payment date, absolutely. Jason Lott, what would be a good first day restaurant on Icon? We have a group of three, four, five, six, seven people here. So um, I will repeat their answer, but what is your choice for a first day restaurant on Icon? Uh, I think they mean lunch. What would be a good first day restaurant? I'm thinking lunch. Windjammer. Windjammer. Aquadome Market. Aquadome Market. Playmakers. 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 Becky. Take the day and just go to all of the grab and goes because that way you can explore the ship and eat at the same time. Becky said Playmakers. <laughs> <laughs> Booked. Okay. Aquadome Market. Windjammer. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great choices there. Uh, Shane, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt, I got it to work. I had to switch my region. Thanks for all you do. Well, thank you, Shane, for the super chat. You can still come up and say hi later on. Or come up now. There's still, like I said, seven people up here. Um, Pickle is Icon at full capacity. It's at 5,600, I think was the number I heard. Um, yeah, so it's right around, it's like double occupancy right around where the number should be. It's not maxed out. Remember, 
there's double occupancy uh, capacity, and then there's there's full max capacity. That is every single third and fourth room booked up. So we're in a good number. It's a healthy number. I don't know what that works out to percentage wise in the grand scheme of things, but it is busy, but not cr- overcrowded. I don't feel stuffed in. This is honestly, this is the least. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna have a crazy thought here. I've only been drinking a little bit of water, but. This is the least crowded roller rink cruise I've been on since the um, the restart with the test cruises and all that. Like, it's yeah. remarkably uncrowded for a ship yeah. of this size. But we'll see. That's a testament to the design. Yeah, and the flow, right. Yeah, Becky says it's a testament to the design and the flow. Um, you know, and, and it really does stand out. I mean, it's, just, it's incredible how well they move people around. Amanda, thank you for the super chat. Six Ace Little Symphony with my three-year-old honey, a delayed honeymoon. And husband's first cruise got a balcony drink package and limited dining. Can't wait. Those are three good choices right there. You're going to love that. Timothy Anderson, thank you for the super chat. Excited for Utopian Stars. I have both booked. How popular has Azumi been in the park on Icon? It has been slim. I had dinner there tonight. I was talking to Chef Travis, who is there this week, and he is obviously the inventor, purveyor, mastermind behind uh, Izumi. And he was just saying that it has been just wall-to-wall demand. It's very popular. People love it. The hibachi, the sushi. I mean, it's not, it's, they're, they're, they're just doing a gangbuster business in there. So they're doing a really, really good job with that. Uh, Bader, Shubar, what is still on your own Korean bucket list? Um, the Mediterranean for sure. Panama Canal. That's been something that Becky and I have been talking about for like, I don't know, a decade now. <laughs> um, I want to do more of Europe. That's for sure. Panama Canal. That's like the top ones. I mean, obviously, we can talk about Australia. We can talk about Japan. We can talk about a lot of cool places to go to. But, like, I got to prioritize the very, very top because I feel like the other ones would be obviously not as high priority for me personally. Hey, Matt. Hey. Uh, here's the live super chat. <laughs> Fane giving me a super chat. What's your super chat message? Please. What is- what is your favorite part of the real. ship? I don't know if you asked this already. What's your favorite part of the ship? Favorite part of the ship. Thank you for the super chat. No thing. problem. Or I'm travel spree, by the way, which, by the way, I give you guys already a shout out earlier. They asked Thank if you. I, no, 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 no shout outs. I don't want to shout out. <laughs> I literally just, I want to give you a super chat. No, I don't have a channel. Please don't check it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I enjoy your stuff. Though. Thank you. Favorite part of the ship. Um, I mean, I love the Aquadome. I think it's yeah. it's really, really pretty in there. The Overlook. Uh, the Aquadome Market's fantastic. Yes, I agree. Central Park is wonderful. Um, if you could pick one place, what would it be? What would be I, guess I guess I'm going with Aquadome. Pick one place, Aquadome. Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank, thank you so you. much. I'll see, you later. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. All right. All right. Sounds good. Don't tell the IRS about that one. Um, uh, oh, there is uh, Justin Durant. Thank you for the super chat. As a solo traveler, I got the limited dining package. Will I have trouble getting reservations, or is there a bar at the restaurants I can eat at three days till BOS? Brilliance of the seas, I'm guessing. Um, you'll have no trouble getting reservations. Um, just get on the ship reasonably early. Make your reservations as soon as, you, as soon as you get on board. You'll have no problem at all. Big guy, thank you for the super chat. Question, now that you've been on Icon, do you like it better than Wonder? Ask me again next week. I still need to have like more time on board to figure it out. I am really loving it. But I'm going on Wonder in March, and I feel like it's like, I don't know. Am I in love with the with the novelty? And I'm going to go back on Wonder and be like, oh, baby, I still love you more. Um, I, I, I don't know yet. Um, I'm not ready to commit yet, so let's put it that way. Uh, Dancing Spider-Man, thank you for the super chat. I'm wondering why there's a price for especially restaurant reservations. Is every item on the menu free? You just pay the reservation price. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Dancing Spider-Man. So depending on the restaurant, there's either a cover charge or an a la carte. Cover charge like chops. Pay one price and pretty much everything on the menu is included. I say pretty much because on Icon they have some extra things that do cost extra, but forget that for a second. It's a cover charge. You pay the cover charge and the food is included. Other restaurants like Azumi Sushi, you get a stipend. They say, all right, here's 40 bucks for each visit. Um, You order as you see fit. And if you spend more than $40, then you pay the difference. I hope that answers your question. Ray and Nancy Cruisers, how are you adapting the new elevator schema? Let me tell you this. I'm going to be as clear as I can. The new elevators are the best thing Royal Caribbean has done in a long, 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 long time. They are. It is so easy, so efficient. The days, I I, I don't want to jump the gun too much because this quote will come back and bite me. But the days of like, you know, 
thing like it, waiting forever for an elevator and all that seemed to be behind us on this ship. They finally figured it out. It is wonderful. And disembarkation is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. Becky says disembarkation was amazing. Um, event Yours of Spirits. Great name. If you took away everything on Icon that is duplicated in a wonder, what would you say is the selling point? Isn't that like asking, like, if you took away Superman's, like, powers, well, how would he beat up Batman, I guess? Um, the I think some of the features that are on here that really stand out, you know, the Thrill Water Park, um, some of the new complimentary venues, the entertainment, obviously. Um, at its heart, when you go on any cruise ship, I think it's truly, you know, the makeup of... It's not one individual thing, usually. It's a lot of things together. Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you the destination elevators are the reason you should book a cruise. But boy, is that a nice feature of going on a cruise, right? I'm not telling you that Aquadome Market is a reason to book a cruise, but boy, is it a nice place to eat on the cruise, right? So I feel like when you when you meld all those things together, I think that kind of com combines and you get like, hey, this is a really cool ship. So I hope I sort of answered your question. Uh, Blake, what's my favorite thing to do in St. Thomas? St. John's. Get on a ferry, go to St. John's. I was going to do that tomorrow or two days from now, but Royal canceled my excursion, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but... If you can go to St. John, go to St. John. It's the most beautiful beach in the world I've ever been to. Uh, Wisconsin, Jason, do you bring passports with you in foreign ports? Thank you for the super chat, Wisconsin. Jason, yes. Um, other than Labadee and Coco Key, um, or any U.S. port like you know San Juan, Puerto Rico, or St. Thomas, I always bring my passport with me, just in case. You never know. Uh, all right. I caught up on the super chats, and I apologize because we were missing some of those. But I think the chat is now doing better, I hope. Let's see here. Um, yep. Yeah, there's there's Jason's. And uh, luckily, I've missed all of Tony's messages so far. So this has been win-win. Uh, Nelson, thank you for the compliment. Appreciate you. Um, I'm looking tan. This is au natural. I've barely been in the sun. Uh, Amber, do you think the hideaway is large enough adult-only space to take the place of the solarium? I don't know if it's big enough. I do feel like I was there earlier this, today. I spent some time out. We rented one of those beds in the in the hideaway, and it was nice. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people there. Um, I will say this. Some of the some of the solariums, they're bigger space-wise, but their pools are tiny bathtubs. And I feel like the hideaway pool is bigger, felt bigger than me, than like the one on Symphony of the Seas as an example. I think the Quantum Clash have the best pools because they're multi-story and they kind of extend a little bit more. Um, but I think I can make my peace with it. It doesn't bother me personally, but I'm also not a Solarium guy, so maybe I'm not the person to be asking about that. Uh, Tony, when will they start the key and will it be worth it on Icon? I'm not sure, but I, as, I, as I often tell folks out here, I don't think the key is worth it. So if you're thinking about buying it, I would cancel it anyway, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when that'll be the case. When will Discovery Class become real, Liam wants to know. We're not sure. Royal Caribbean has not said any. They haven't even really confirmed that it exists. I mean, they they have now that they're thinking about it, but nothing's been ordered. Nothing's been approved. In order for it to go forward, number one, it has to be approved by the uh, Board of Governors for the, for the company. Then they have to get financing for it, and then they have to actually place the order with the shipyard. Those three things are going to take the better part of this year, best case scenario. And if you do the math in your head, remember, Quant Icon Class took seven years to get from paper to or idea to here we are. And we're in 2024. Figure they've done some of the work. Well, let's give, let's spot them a year. We're probably talking somewhere in the ballpark about 2030 at best, I would imagine, short of some other big change there. But that's what we're talking about in the grand scheme of, of that. So I would say that you've got some time to go there. And Chief among that, those steps, Liam, is, of course, an official confirmation that, yes, we are doing this project and it's it's coming up later. Uh, Marvin, 83 days, first cruise ever. What is a must-watch show? Um, I'm not sure what ship you're going on, Marvin, but generally speaking, um, the production shows in the Royal Theater are usually very, very good, and I like those quite a bit. Um Rumbling Dave, first cruise serenade of the seas. Did I lose out on anything going on a full charter? There's pros and cons to doing a charter, especially a full charter. Number one, you usually don't have your crown and anchor benefits. Um, that's one, unless the company pays for it, which they usually don't. You probably are not getting whatever, you know, if you're diamond, you will not have your diamond drinks as an example. You might, uh, you might not earn diamond uh, points. It depends on the charter and the arrangement and all that. 
Um, obviously, with a charter, you have special events, which is really the name of the game. You're booking this cruise because they're doing something special on there, whatever it is. I don't know. It's a, it's a music concert, whatever. Um, but that's the main reason to book it. Um, is Hideaway Supper crowded? Oh, you're talking about not Supper Club. You mean Hideaway, the Hideaway neighborhood. Um, there are not enough shaded areas. Really, only shade is either by the, by the, um, uh, by the bar, or occasionally, depending on where the sun is, Thrill Islands water slides cast a shadow on the hideaway. But there's, in terms of like dedicated shade, you really have to be by the hideaway bar to get that. Um, are the main dining room menus on? The, an icon the same as other local green chips. Yes, I mean, I know yesterday they did offer lobster in the main dining room because why not? Um, but generally speaking, the menus are exactly the same across the fleet. Uh, have I ever got a tour of the bridge? I have, yes, it's really cool. You can get a tour of the bridge through the all access tour that you can book through Royal Caribbean. If you think to yourself, that sounds really cool, then you should do the tour, it's well worth the money. Uh, Timothy Anderson, thank you for the super chat. Have I bought the golden chalice yet? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I got 10 bucks from not Fane, from not travel spree. So do my math. No, I don't have enough money for it yet. But I did see it today. What is the best dish I've had so far? I, I just had sushi earlier today. Um, the best dish I had so far, let's see, I had sushi today at Izumi. That was... That was literally chef's kiss. I mean, Chef Travis might have kissed it, and it was that good. Um, the Chilean sea bass at Empire Club was fantastic. Dude, the Greek gyros over there are fantastic. Some One of those three. I'm not even – and I'm probably forgetting some. What, I, what did I eat on the other days? Oh, Giovanni's. I mean, yeah. The Chilean sea bass, Izumi Sushi, Aquadome Marketplace. Love those places. Uh, Reggie, thank you for the super chat. Hill and how about icon in March and then again in August? I was wondering when you're in port, especially Coco Key, will Thrill Island be open on the ship? Uh, it should be. I don't believe there's any reason why it wouldn't be open. The water cells are usually open on, um, on, um, port days. Um, but we'll be in port tomorrow. So I can double check on that. But I'd be shocked, Reggie, if it wasn't open. Is the limited drink package worth it? I think it can be. Depends if you drink enough every day. Um, but the nice thing is, if you were to, you can try new drinks. You get to hype, you know, if you spill your wine all over the table and then the whole room smells like white wine, no big deal because you get another one. It's totally cool. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, I think it can be worth the money for sure. Um, let's see here. William Ryman, thank you for the super chat. I was told that you can do a fake person if I was traveling solo. Correct. I've done this many times. Actually, my wife, forget a fake person. My wife is booked on this cruise, but not here. She couldn't make it. I did have intention for sailing, but you definitely can do this. Anyway, would the fake person have to get a drink package well? Yes. Now, you'd have to buy it, and then it would get canceled when you get on board the ship, or you could wait to get on board the ship and then buy it there. But, yeah, essentially, in the interim, You have you uh, cocktails even if you don't have the drink package. Yeah, the the cost includes the cocktail, so you don't. I don't have a drink package. It's included with that two hundred dollars. So you know, it's actually more than eight drinks. But you know, eight drinks times fifteen. I mean, it's not a terrible value if you think about it that way. Plus the food, plus the entertainment. Uh, when will the prices lower? Or the best time to book to get the best deal. Love your video, sign Andre. Book as early as you can, man. I mean, basically, the price today is going to be cheaper than the price tomorrow. It's not exactly like that, but that's essentially the, the general trend. So book as early as you can. When new cruises are announced, book those immediately. That's like the best thing you can do. Second best thing you can do is obviously um, book as early as you can to make that happen. Yeah, and avoid popular times. Um, thank you, Becky. Um, you know, avoid summer, avoid spring break, Christmas, New Year's Eve. Being cruise... This time in January, uh, May is usually pretty empty. Um, 
September, October, those are also inexpensive times of the year. Uh, are the hideaway pool beds reserved only? Yes. You need to purchase them or reserve them ahead of time. So, oh, wow. Thank you, Soren. Appreciate you. This is a big uh, little present here from the folks at Chill Island Bar staff, who we love with the, this is the um, lime and coconut, right? Yes. And this is actually really, really tasty. I got to tell you. So, uh, thank you. Uh, all right. Now, oh, we, we got two hours now. We got plenty of time. Everything, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I need to do my live chats on, on ships all the time. Uh, is Icon better than Wonder? I'm not sure it's better than Wonder. I mean, that's that's tough to say, but it's very, very good. Um, I like both ships for different reasons. You know, someone asked me earlier what I thought about, Liam, you know, Wonder versus Icon. I mean, I love the flow of this ship. I love some of the amenities on this ship. Um, it's it's so tough to, to, to narrow down. I feel like I'm, you know... I. Uh, it's, it's. I'm not ready to say I like Icon better than Wonder, but I really like. Well, Wonder has the Mason Jar, right? I love the Mason Jar bar, and I prefer the Mason Jar over you know, certain other venues that might be on here. Um, so there's pros and cons to every single ship. It's just a matter of kind of finding um, the answer. To quote one Becky Menka from MEI Travel, the answer is do both. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bobby Collins, thank you for the super chat, Bobby. I don't see a message from you, but thank you for your generosity. Sherelle Dawes, thank you for the super chat. How long are Royal Caribbean ships staying at their home port? I was booked on adventure last year, was moved to Voyager due to adventure moving on Harmony of June 25 out of Galveston, hoping Harmony will still be there. Um, what happened to you with adventure and Voyager is pretty much the exception, not the norm. Usually when you book a cruise, you, um, you, the, that cruise stays put they rarely switch ships like that so i would say that's more the exception in terms of in general how long do ships stay in port sometimes it's one season sometimes they'll be there for like a decade it just kind of depends on the market demand what other ships are doing cruise ship deployments is like a giant game of um of musical chairs and depending on where the chairs are arranged sometimes the ship will remain in a market for a really long time like mariner of the seas has been in port canaveral since like 20 at least 2018, maybe a few years before that. And she's been here since then, but now she's about to leave to go over to Galveston. So it just kind of depends on when the deployment gods deem it that they need to change it right there. Uh, Dancing Spider-Man, thank you again for the super chat. If I have dinner at will I make any shows? Yeah, I mean, you're going to find their shows. The show schedule, ideally you do your show schedule, your dinner schedule rather around the traditional main dining room times, but... You know, Wizard of Oz has matinees, and um, you're going to find that there'll be other times you can find it. So as long as you're a little flexible, you should be able to find at least one time that will work, provided you don't have another, you know, conflict over there. Nicholas, thank you for the super chat. Any update for Royal Caribbean's open the Blue Lagoon excursions yet? I have not seen it, but I don't know if anyone else has seen Blue Lagoon pop up on there. I, I don't know. I know that it got approval from the Bahamas to, re, to reopen, but beyond that, I'm not aware of um, anything else. Amber, thank you for the super chat. How do you get WoW bands? You go down to guest services and purchase them. On Icon, if you bring an old WoW band, they will program it for you, but they're not selling them currently. What's the best new drink you've tried? So we're not counting this awesome drink that Soren gave me already. Um, oh, the Strawberry Sunset was fantastic. The Swim and Tonic. That was a very good drink. Hotel California? Hotel Dueling Piano. Dueling Pianos, Hotel California. I think that's also the same menu as um, Music Hall. I think so. Yeah. Okay. For non-alcoholic uh, drinkers, the Lemon Post has some options for you as well. That's like, I mean, that is one of the really nice things about a drink package is you can't, you can afford to try things. If you see, if you sip it, you're like, oh, this is terrible, right? No harm, no foul, no big deal. Um, but remember, there's a there's 13 brand new bars on Icon with new menus. So they've really put a lot of, um, bless you, a lot of um, effort into creating new drinks and, and whatnot. Um, the Jazzy Saz in Blues, Jazz and Blues is supposed to be really, really good. Uh, so maybe try that one out, especially if you're a bourbon drinker. Uh, let's see here. Next question. 
Pilot Chef, Icon in two weeks, still no reservations available to reserve. When did yours open up? When did ours open up for for, res for entertainment? It was like a month? Was it less than a month? Yeah, they're 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 doing their best, Jeff. Suffice to say, I think you're gonna get it before the cruise. If they don't, you'll be able to do it via the app as soon as you get on board the ship. I think they'll get it on there. I know that they were they've been trying to get everything kind of in that routine, and with the new ship, that's one of the issues you kind of run into. So I'm kind of surprised it's not available yet, but I think it will get to you. Um, uh, Don, correct. No kids in the hideaway. It's adults only. That is correct. Uh, next question. Nelson, you are very welcome. Uh, Jane, I'm taking a lure of the seas for Thanksgiving. Any one or two must-dos for family of six, four adults, two teenagers. On a lure? Um, Izumi Abachi is a great family meal, especially restaurant. I think that's worth the money to do with all um, six of you. Um, I'm trying to think of things like for all six of you. Beyond like, you know, I mean, hanging by the pool is a lot of fun. I'm um, doing a fun shore excursion, um, but I don't have anything specifically. Oh, Mamma Mia. That's a great show to see. So make sure you see Mamma Mia on Allure of the Seas. That's included. Thank you, Josh. So Josh from MEI Traveler reminded me that it was 16 days before our sailing, we got the um, uh, entertainment opened up for reservations. Uh, traveling Yinzer, thank you for the super chat. Any knowledge on Utopia? Is it similar to Wonder? We know a few things that are different about Utopia. It's going to be more similar than Wonder than Science, an Oasis class ship. There's going to be a uh, food truck type restaurant on the pool deck. Um, it's going to have the um, one of the big features is you're going to have Izumi in Central Park. You're going to have a new restaurant, an immersive dining experience. Um, the Royal Caribbean Railroad, I forget the name of it exactly is, but it's an immersive experience where you feel like you're on an old timey railroad eating in there. It's going to be on deck four where Izumi is on Wonder. Um, those are the big changes I think we know about. But right now, Royal Caribbean is in icon, icon, icon mode. As we get closer to summer and the launch of Utopia, we'll get more information uh, to, to discuss about that. Uh, is the Mason Jar worth the $41 cover charge? I think it is. I really like their menu. I think their drinks are fantastic. Nice. You can go to the bar and get the drinks there as well. But it's fun. It's something different. And I always like different. I always appreciate just something that's not like the same old, same old. And so for that reason, I say yes. Uh, Julie's got a question. Why do they say put your phone into airplane mode if you can buy the internet package? Can you still access the Wi-Fi if it's in airplane mode? Yes, you can. So airplane mode disables your cell signal. So that way your phone can't talk to a cell tower uh, nearby that you'd be roaming on. That would cost you money. But Wi-Fi, you can totally use, and you won't incur any of those charges. So that's essentially why. D baby or D baby. Thank you for the super chat. Ways to get cheaper excursions in Alaska. Book them on your own. Um, we actually have a good list of um, excursions that you can book on your own in Alaska. If you go to royalcarbonblog.com slash Alaska and uh, do it that way. The cruise line excursions typically just add a surcharge to them. In a lot of cases, the tours in Alaska are exactly the same as you do on your own. So you save a little bit of money by booking it through there. Um, but I think when you go through a lot of these ports like Juno, um, Sitka, a lot of them you can walk around and do things on your own. There's public transportation to bring you around there. So you got to do your research, number one. Don't just be like, oh, that's it, do it on our own. We're going to roll in there and just going to walk up. You know, do your research, find things to do. But I found it very easy um, to be able to do things on your own and save a little bit of money. And Becky's having a heart attack about I something I said. Yes, Becky. I absolutely am having a heart attack. Okay. okay. So, um, yes, you can book it on your own. However, there are some risks involved with that. Sure. So, uh, one of the things that we recommend, if you're working with a travel advisor, ask them about third-party shore excursion companies because yes. they are uh, the, the right ones because some of them allow for a guarantee to get you back to the ship on time because the ship is not tracking you, yeah. right, when you do the third party or on your own. So if you get a company that's guaranteed, you will get back to the ship or they will pay for you to get to the next port. Yep. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> um, let's see here. How packed the swim and tonic been? It's actually not been as bad as I thought. I mean, there are people in the pool. Don't get me wrong. But yesterday I rolled in at two o'clock. There was a there were at least two stools 
on the bar. They were all in the end of the bar, granted, but I was able to get one right over there. Um, uh, it's definitely a busier bar. It depends on if you want to be in the sun. That would be number one. And number two, obviously, what time of day and if it's a, you know, what's else going around the ship. But it's busy but manageable in my experience. Does Wonder of the Seas have wow bands? Yes, they do. Uh, we are at sea right now, M. We're on our way to uh, St. Kitts. Noob for lunch. I love the name. Thank you for the super chat. Do you know why Icon doesn't have an all-access tour? I suspect this is brand new. There's not offering it yet. I would expect over time it will be made available, but not yet anyway. But I don't have a, a, another answer other than that. Tony wants to know, how is the pub? Pub is great. I just wish the, the schedule um, has been a little weird where, like, he plays from, like, you know, I'm making up time. Like, 8 o'clock to 1045. And then um, from, like, then he goes on break to, like, midnight. And they're trying to alternate some of the music venues. So, like, when he goes on break at the pub, I think, what is it, Boleros is up top? Yeah. Boleros then goes for, like, an hour or so. I get what they're trying to do, but that's the only jarring thing about it. But it encourages you to get up and go somewhere else. And last night we were at the pub, and that happened, and we went up to Dueling Piano. So, you know, you make uh, make the most of it. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. How was the pub? Why am I Uh, let's see here. Uh, Doris wants to know what's the price for Wi-Fi. Um, the price depends on your sailing. You get a discount. Let me put it this way: number one, you'll always pay less if you pre-book it before your cruise. Um, but you'll pay, uh, but it'll be more on board the ship. Um, so definitely pre-purchase it. But the exact cost will vary depending on your sailing and the ship you're on. DMP Tactical, thank you for the super chat. Um, how am I expected to dress for dinner in main dining room or shops? I know they have Caribbean night, formal and smart casual. Quick rundown, please. Believe I'm icon February 10th. So the dress code that you listed there is for the main dining room. Um, for chops, that has its, own, its smart casual every night of the cruise. Honestly, what I'm wearing now is totally acceptable for, for a restaurant. Collared shirt, nice pair of pants, like jeans or what have you that don't have holes in them is totally acceptable. You can wear a jacket if you'd like to. You don't have to by any means. For the main dining room, it's even less casual than that. Um, on formal night, there'll be some people that'll be more dressed up, certainly. Um, that's your prerogative. But I have to tell people this, for any dining room on a roller queen ship outside of Empire Supper Club, collared shirt for guys, a jacket if you'd like to. Um, and a nice pair of slacks or jeans or pants or something like that. You don't have to wear a suit. You can if you'd like to. There will, there will be some people wearing a suit, especially on formal night, because they like to do the family photos and all that. Um, that's not a requirement. That's certainly going above and beyond what they uh, what they say there. Uh, Russell, what's up? Russell, I have not seen you in, like, a long, long time. Hope you and the family are well. Have you seen Rover on board? I saw Rover on the first day I was here. And I saw Rover on the three-night cruise very, very, very briefly. But I've not seen Rover on this particular sailing, but other people in our group have. So, yeah. Um, oh, and I, I missed Super Chat. Sorry. Um, what is? Oh, I did answer this one. What is good about a five-day roller coming cruise? It's cheaper than a seven-day cruise, essentially. It's usually cheaper than the seven-day, but it's longer than the three-day. Is usually why someone would book a five-night cruise. Uh, let's see here. The baby again, thank you for the super chat. Do I need a passport for white pass rail in Alaska? Yeah, I believe you need a passport, right, Becky, for white, yeah, white pass? There's two versions. There's one that you don't because it doesn't cross the border, and there's another that does if you cross the border. So better to have it with you anyway, just in case, but there are two versions if yeah. you don't have a passport. There you go. Uh, Pika 61, I've been wondering if the music venues on the promenade overlap, like hearing music from the pub and doing pianos at the same time. It has not really been much of an issue. Uh, Boleros can get very loud with like the bass or the band is just very loud and you can sometimes hear that echoing. But when I'm in the pub, I hear the pub. When I'm in dueling pianos, I hear dueling pianos. If you're in another venue, like I was at Next Cruise earlier, booking a cruise at MEI Travel, you're welcome, Becky. Thank you. Um, I could hear the pub totally like I, as if I was in the bar actually was nice because i was like oh, i like the song and i'm trying to book a cruise um but within the venue itself especially if you're in the venue i don't think a noise bleed is an issue uh are there any late night places to eat on icon other than sorrentos 
isn't this open till midnight? Aquanon Market? Yeah, which is phenomenal. So, two of the four? Two of the four are open till midnight. Which one? Oh, Pearl Cafe is 24 hours. I forgot about that. Thank you. And they have really good food. Yeah, that's the grab and go one. Um, that's a huge, that's another huge win. Like, no one's going to book a cruise to Pearl Cafe, but they really did a good job replacing Cafe Promenade with Pearl Cafe. It's beautiful, good food selection. Yeah, wide open. Really, really nice. Intrigued viewer, is the three day meal package worth it if I want to go to Zumi Abachi, Wonderland, and Jamie's? I don't want to eat off the fixed price menu. Uh, yeah, sure. I think it's a great, that's a great choice right there. Bobby, what's the best roller coaster ship to a good old Alaska? Um, there's pros and cons. So the Quantum Class ships offer the most to do on board, but they have the least interesting itineraries compared to the um, the Radiance Class ships. The Radiance Class ships are going to be cheaper, but and they're going to have a more interesting itinerary, but they're a pain to get to because you got to sail out of uh, Vancouver. So take your pick. Uh, let's see here. Have I met Ben and David yet? Not on this cruise. I met them on Wonder, on her inaugural, but I've not run into them yet, actually, which is surprising. Uh, let's see here. We are well over our one hour here, but since I got a little more cocktail, we'll keep going for a little longer. Uh, what is the best remedy for seasickness? Patch, bond, band, or bonine? I, I like bonine. It's worked for me every single time I've ever gotten sick. People swear by the patch. My parents have the patch, and they wear it like they wear it to the supermarket. I'm like, you're not gonna get seasick here, but they still wear it there. Um, a lot of people wear them. I think the patch is probably a bit of overkill. It also, I believe, one of the side effects is you get dry mouth with it. Better than being seasick, I'll take that. Um, but there's also homeopathic methodologies. You could eat uh, green apples or ginger ale, and that seems to work for some people. So it's more of just knowing your body. If if you've never cruised before, I would say bring bonine and Maybe as you start to get seasick, you know, get a, um, uh, you know, go to the wind jammer, get a green apple, try that first, get a ginger ale. If that doesn't work, take the bonine, and then maybe you get the patch for your next cruise. I think the patch would be something I would do later if I felt like, hey, I know I'm going to get seasick. So let's, and obviously if you get see if you get motion sickness a lot on land, like you get car sick a lot, then maybe the patch is a good preemptive measure to take that. Uh, holy moly, Michael Sanjiyama. Thank you for the super chat. 360 days till my 40th Marine Corps reunion on Symphony. Thank you for your service. Huge thank you to you and Kelly at MEI Travel for making the process painless and great insights on sailing with Rel. Well, my dude, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Tony Diaz says, thanks a lot for the super chat. Um, appreciate wow i don't know what to say michael but thank you 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 holy smokes um you're gonna have a great time 362 days sounds like an eon away before you know it you'll be on board um your, your cruise on something you're gonna love it uh let's see here we got time for a couple more questions guys i'm gonna head on out of here um Bonnie, you are very welcome. And I think we're going to... I'm going to answer one or two more questions. We're going to head on out. Um, Lucho, is it me or has Icon included more complimentary venues? Guess who's 16 tomorrow? Happy early birthday. Um, it definitely seems like they've added some really good quality ones. I'm not sure. I don't... I'd have... Like, math-wise, like, is it actually more? I'm not sure. But, like, they redid Pearl Cafe... They redid Cafe Promenade into Pearl Cafe. That's a huge win. It's not an extra venue but it's like an upgrade, right? This is absolutely, Aquanome Market is phenomenally better. So that's a huge add to that. Um, and some of the other venues are just really good. You know, you have Base Camp and they have a couple snacks there, which are the, uh, the, the pretzel bites. I mean, I'll take pretzel bites anytime I'm walking by there. It's free. Why not, right? Surfside, I'm going to tell you this. Surfside is the, the, the restaurants there are the least talked about, but you should be talking about restaurants on Icon. They are good. Uh, two out of three are including your cruise fare, and two out of three ain't bad. Um, and then even the third one that costs money, it's free for the kids. So, and, and the food is really good. Pier, I had Pier 7 for lunch yesterday. I had the Buddha Bowl. I saw they have a dinner menu, and they have an ahi tuna. I want to go there for dinner because 
I think it's just a good looking menu. So um, I would say that, yeah, there's a lot of good choices and a lot of good included stuff there for sure. They've definitely, Roker has definitely set up their complimentary food game on there uh, without a doubt. Um, and I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Um, before we go, if anyone is here wants to come say a hello on camera, I can't rotate the camera because the camera gets really funky and it's going to disconnect. And then Tony doesn't like it. So um, we're going to, if you all want to come around and say hello, it's totally fine. Uh, and then we'll get going. Thank you all so much for everybody for the super chats and how uh, amazing you guys all have been. I guess the easiest way, I don't know, just walk by, wave, <laughs> blow kisses. It's a parade. It's a parade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teresa Harrison, thank you for the super chat. A three days till anthem of the season. I'm only my second career, so I know I'll, so I know I'll show it by asking this. But what's a wow band? Are they worth getting? Uh, they are a wow bands are RFID bracelets. They work just like a C pass card, but it's a bracelet on your wrist so that you can like when you go to open your door, you just go like that instead of you know taking your C pass card. Really, really helpful for that. Lexi coming in with an amazing super chat. To start things off, holy moly, thank you. Woo! Todd and Lexi, Matt, we love your work. Thank you for the super chat. Wow, wow, I don't know what to say. Thank you for the super chat. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, thank you for, wow, just, yeah, um, amazing. All right, guys, I got to head on out of here. Uh, Paper Tony needs to go to bed. Uh, big shout out to the Chill Island staff or whoever got me this drink. This is fantastic. Yay! I need a I need a I need a lime and coconut for every live stream I do. This makes a lot very more enjoyable, even more than the other way. So and sentences. And sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. We'll be back again next week, not on a cruise ship. Womp womp. But we'll be back at home next week. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun, like book another cruise. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Bye everybody. In front of a live studio audience. <laughs>